Hey folks, Father Sampati from CG Virus here. Uh, today we're going to create a very basic uh, carbon fiber shader for Blender AV. Uh, the shader will be in the link uh, in the description so you can download it and use it. Okay, um, so let's see the demo here first. So what we have here is basically a texture coordinate node here. So what you can do is basically you can search for a texture coordinate node here and you can see it is saying uh, that uh, UV or object. That means you can uh, give it an UV. By default, it will be UV. And uh, if you want to use object, you can use object as well. Okay, so in object, uh, it's much more uh, granular. So what you can do is basically you can go for 155 or something, or suppose 15, or yeah, something like that. Okay, so you can see it here. Okay, so that's how you can use it. But uh, let's use UV here. UV is much more consistent and uh, uh, we're going to use UV as a standard node here. Uh, so let's get C up here. So the base color, base color is uh, the color. You can change your color stuff. Okay, yeah. And uh, there is checker scale. So what does it do? It's basically it scales your pattern. Okay. So there you go. You can scale it to scale down, uh, whatever you want to. Um, so, yeah, that's how you can use it. And uh, if you want to use a diagonal shape, which we have, like this, if you want to use a diagonal shape, what you can do is basically you need to do it in a five step, something like uh, fifteen. Fifteen will give you a diagonal, diagonal shape here. Something like one fifty-five, it will give you a diagonal shape here. Okay. And other than that, it will create some random checker pattern, which you can use also as well. But yeah, that's how you can run something like 148. You can use 145 to create a diagonal shape here, okay, or 155 for a diagonal shape here, something like that. So for this, we are going for 355, which is standard, okay. And this is the fiber scale. Uh, this is uh, the this is scaling okay these stripes these are called fiber scale you can scale down, scale down but uh, default is 800 uh, there is also invert loss that means uh, yeah, the loss will be inverted if you want to do it like that as well okay and uh, there is clear coat clear coat for you know if you have car paint or ceramic type of thing so there you can use it as a clear coat okay there you go. So the link will be in the description. You can download it and use it. So now let's uh, get started with our making of. All right. So let's get started with a new material here. So I'm going to name it Carbon Demo. Okay. So first thing first is basically let's create a checker node, checker texture, and I'm going for black, and let's go for white, full white. Press Ctrl Shift to see it here, which is good. So press Ctrl T to create an uh, with node drangler. We're pressing Ctrl T to create this mapping node. So uh, by default, uh, for procedural, we used to use that object node here. So what happens? Press Alt H to create this. Let's do a um, material instance. Here we go. So if we have object, it will create uh, in spherical. Uh, um, things it will get something like this this mess so if we use UV it will be much more cleaner so that's why we're using UV here it's up to you which one you want to use not a problem so let's hide them and let's get started here so we're going to use UV here for now so um, I want to create another checker texture here chip D and the vector will be same here and we want to create a valuation node which is creating a value and let's give it 50 and let's scale it up scale it up here as well okay and um, let's create let's create a mix RGB note mix RGB and I'm going to plug it in here and I'm going to plug it in here and I'm going for a uh, subtract here and factor okay now what you can do is basically you can create a vector vector
store uh, math get math and let's give these guys 0.1 okay so I'm going to scale the upscale down and you can see that it is creating that diagonal pattern for us which is good okay so for this one I'm going for 55 as we have told you that the 5 instance will work here so 155 or 145 okay, 135 these things are, will work and other things will create some random pattern values here yeah. so we're going for 155 suppose there we go okay so these things are done um, another thing what I think we did is basically mm, hmm, yeah in a scale value uh, we're going to create a map node yeah and uh, in the bottom one we are going to round it up okay so it will be smooth transition so yeah so first and first is done there you go okay so let's clamp it up clamp the subtract and there you go so now let's go for a wave texture so I'm going for a wave uh, we're going to create this wave texture for let's go here and uh, plug the vector and let's scale it up uh, 800 so it will create um, you know a texture kind of pattern for us so we're going for a saw wave <coughs> to make it soft and let's give it a description uh, distortion of 888 so it will get a uh, cloth type of texture for you okay so now um, in the subtract value we have this so let's create another mix RGB here and let's just plug this guy yeah. and let's plug this guy yeah. okay if I go uh, now in uh, subtract not subtract uh, it was I think a screen yeah it was a screen clamp factor one so now you are seeing it like this okay so something like that there you go okay so let's save it and now yeah so now we are going for principled BSDF and let's create the base color here it's black and uh, this would be our roughness first input sorry there we go roughness let it compile and uh, here is your texture okay now you can see that uh, actually it is it needs to be invert okay so let's create an inversion there we go yeah now it is working so now you can see that uh, it is too much uh, glossy so what you can do is basically go here and uh, give it a little bit of saturation and, and to blend it up uh, in a better way okay it will blend uh, in a better way so let's go for 0.1 it will be blend a little bit okay and what else we need a bump map so here is the bump map and we're going to screen and hide it and let's go to normal and let's give it 0 0.05 there you go so now you're seeing your stuff so it's done okay there you go so press alt h and let's select this 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 control l and material there we go so here is our stuff okay done so now let's start packing okay so <coughs> to pack it up uh, what we can do is basically select everything except this okay so select them control G to make a group and this will be our vector mm, okay let's create the uh, value here the shift to drag it here and this will be this plus N we don't need this so this will be our scale so let's name it pattern scale 
or checker scale actually, not pattern. Checker scale. Default value should be 355, and let's give it 355. There we go. And now, um, what else? Um, yeah, we need this wave scale, so it will be wave scale. There we go. So let me see what we did earlier here. Um, Fiber scale, fiber scale. Okay, so let's name it fiber scale. Fiber scale. Default is 800, which is good. And other things are fine. Then we did invert loss. So it should be here. The invert loss. There you go. Okay. And invert loss. And what else? Um, Clear coach, so we drag it here from clear coach and yeah, okay. So it's clear coach. Other things is base color, so we need a base color. So let's drag it here, okay. Stop it up, there we go. Okay, so this is it and okay so the uh, just name it carbon or uh, demo whatever yeah all right so that's it uh, you can download the shadow note uh, the link is in the description and uh, yeah i'm father sympathy from cg virus and we're going to see you next time bye bye